What's up guys? I'm Tasha. Happy Saturday. This Saturday I'm going to show you guys how to ice dye or snow dye your fabrics. If you live where it's snowing, good for you. But I live in Northern California and I don't get snow so ice works perfectly fine for this project. And the supplies you will need are gloves, a bag of ice or snow, whatever you have available to you, powder dye, I'm using my favorite Fiber Reactive Procyon dye, a respirator or dust mask, you do not want to breathe this powder dye in, soda ash to make your dye permanent, some sort of tub to dye it in, and some sort of rack to elevate your fabric off the bottom of the tub. So the first thing you want to do is soak your piece of fabric in your soda ash. This is going to make it permanent and really fix the dye to the fabric. Once 15 minutes is up, you're just going to squeeze out the excess soda ash. Make sure that it's just damp and not dripping wet because that's a waste of soda ash. Then you want to arrange your garment on top of the wire racks. This is really all up to your creativity. You can tie it with rubber bands, you can roll it, scrunch it, whatever you want to do. But if you're using ice, I would suggest making it as flat as you can possibly get it because ice will tend to roll off the piece of fabric if it's too lumpy. So just make sure it's nice and flat. And I decided to scrunch mine as you see here. Then you just want to pile on top with the ice or snow and you want to make sure that you cover the whole thing if possible I know it's kind of hard with ice to get the edges because on the edges it'll just want to roll off so just cover it as much as you can and trust me when the ice melts or the snow melts whatever didn't get touched by it will definitely get colored so put on your respirator and then just go to town with your dye powder and you want to use a good amount you don't have to be mega heavy-handed but just know that ice dyeing and snow dyeing really dilutes your dye color so try not to use any naturally light colors or pastel colors because they'll come out almost non-existent looking and make sure that you cover the ice very thoroughly the colors I'm using are lemon yellow bright yellow Kelly green soft orange and turquoise so you'll want to let this sit for 24 hours and you can just cover it. I'm covering it with the lid that came with this plastic storage tub. I did a little bit of a time lapse so you can see the two projects that I did. It pretty much just looks like snow cone magical goodness. And if you look closely, you can literally see the ice melting, which I thought was pretty cool. So after 24 hours, just pop it in your sink and rinse it out. Your sink is going to look like Crayola crayons, just threw up all in it. But don't worry, it will not stain your sink, trust me. And you want to rinse this in cold water until it runs clear. Then pop it in your washing machine on a normal cycle with hot water. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I dye a lot of things and this is my new favorite technique for dyeing my fabrics. It's just a really good base or jump off for any other project. You can print something on it, you can embellish it. I have a few ideas for mine, but you can also just leave it as it is. And I know tie-dye isn't everyone's cup of tea, but I love tie-dye. Maybe I'm just a hippie child at heart, not sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, like I said, and I will see you guys in my next DIY. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye.